Welcome back to Bluehorn TV. I'm your host, Mike White, and on Marketing for Your Future, we are traveling the globe to find the top experts in digital strategy, marketing, and consulting, and all the services that a business needs to grow and accelerate. Join us today, all the way from my home state, Illinois, Kim Kleeman. Welcome to the program, Kim. Thanks so much for having me today, Mike. So tell me about your company, Accelerate Successfully, and the services you provide your customers. Sure, no problem. Thanks uh, for asking. Accelerate Successfully is a coaching platform for helping businesses and individuals accelerate to the next level. After having owned my own businesses for many years, including a marketing agency, um, I saw that building some of my own things uh, really brought me the financial security that I wanted, and I was able to share both my top line growth knowledge, marketing and sales with the fundamental business knowledge I'd grown up with. So I now, um, you know, usually am working with companies who are trying to grow and um, might find an opportunity in the marketplace that they need to jump onto. And that's where I come in to help them figure out the path and what marketing, uh, you know, needs they're going to have and how to sell that to the market. What's the biggest challenge that you see coming out of COVID-19 over the next two to three months that businesses are going to have in terms of their marketing? So I would say that the biggest challenge is how you position your messaging. So, you know, we, we all are seeing right now the companies that are getting good press and the companies that are getting bad press. And that a, a lot of that has to do with the way that their messaging might be getting out. For instance, um, I think that companies that are handling layoffs well and they're communicating clearly and they're giving employees uh, ways to find jobs or have some sort of benefits, those reputationally will be able to come out of this. But if you've had some unrest, you're going to need some crisis communications going on and some good PR around what it is that you did during this time. Were there good leadership skills coming out of your company um, or were you not paying attention to the way that that looked? During the 08 crisis, what we found as companies came out of that uh, was that in manufacturing specifically, if you had not focused on automation or marketing, um, you were left in the dust because during the downtime, that's what companies were investing in, was figuring out their positioning and, and figuring out where to go next. And so those that did it before were ready as, you know, the gates opened uh, to grow their business. And so that's what I think is the most important is um, understanding how you're communicating and then making sure you're investing in marketing strategy right now to figure out where you should go when you come out. What do you think the biggest challenge is going to be for um, students in marketing communications graduating college right now and entering the workforce? That's such a great question. Um, I have a daughter that is a senior in college right now, and so we personally have been dealing with this. Um, she is not a communications and marketing uh, major. She's a criminology and uh, psychology double major. But what I saw with all of her friends was that the job prospects that they had are gone away. So here's what I recommend for marketing communication majors. Uh, start getting your uh, portfolio filled up. Look for some freelance work. Join some um, agencies that might have something that you can try. Try things you haven't tried before. Make a few mistakes. Um, but you know, if you can get your hands on a campaign, if you can be part of a uh, a marketing strategy and be able to say that you did something during this time, companies are going to be looking to hire. They're especially going to be looking to hire entry level. Um, salaries, but people with experience. And so I do think that contracting or being a freelancer right now gives people the best opportunity to continue to grow their resume and make a little bit of money. So what would you look at in the next 12 months as there's been a, tra a transition from client spending on traditional media to digital? Do you see the transition continuing to happen with more spend on digital or do you see the pendulum that's going to swing back over to more traditional medias? Well, you know, I mean, we're all watching devices, right? We're watching a lot of Netflix, we're watching Disney Plus, whatever your household is into right now. And so, you know, I think traditional media 
and digital media are sort of colliding in some interesting ways. Uh, but I will tell you, our mailboxes are empty. I mean, this is a great time for direct mail. This is a great time to buy some commercial space. Uh, this is a great time to be investing on what you might be doing um, or continuing to let people know you're still alive. So I am a big believer in digital media buy, but I also think some of the more traditional ways um, we're, we're still all eyes glued every day um, when there's a press conference or when there is um, uh, something going on on, on TV. So uh, to me, um, you know, now's the time to take advantage. If you have cash and you are able to be strategic, this is a time, I think, to buy up some of that media and make a strategic play there. So uh, if you look at 12 months ahead, what do you think the lessons learned from going through the COVID crisis will be? Well, I think there's two. I mean, one isn't about marketing. It's more about just workforce. And I think that uh, the CEOs that thought working from home didn't bring a lot of productivity might be both right and wrong. <laughs> it depends on who you are. Uh, if you have young children and you are focused on e-learning and you're in an area of the country that is on lockdown for a long period of time, like Chicago is, uh, then you really need to be thinking about your plan B, your plan C. How are you going to continue to work from home or how is your company going to adapt to that? I think the bright side to it, though, is um, that you are starting to use tools online that allow for you to manage productivity and it's freeing up the idea of overhead costs. Do you need the office space? Um, do you know? Would it be better to invest in a, a tool like Slack or um, something that you can manage milestones? So depending on your industry, you might see that that changes. And then personally, I think there's going to be big sweeping changes in e-learning as we understand what it is that actually works and doesn't work in situations like this, because we may go through this again. Uh, we don't know. Um, and I also think in healthcare, we're going to see some some technologies that will disrupt the way that um, we have all experienced uh, um, not being able to see doctors and not being able to do our regular checkups and during a time of crisis like this. So there, you know, in 12 months, I think there's going to be a lot of lessons learned. How long it will take for some of those to come to the marketplace, I say watch your startups. Um, you know, I've heard a quote out there that every company is going to be acting like a startup after this. And I think there's some truth to that, that we really have to get very entrepreneurial about the way we're looking at driving our business forward after this. Well, Kim, thank you for joining us on the program today. And I appreciate your insight. And uh, I wish you the best of luck in Illinois. To find out more about Kim's company, Accelerate Successfully, visit us at bluehorn.com. We look forward to seeing you next time on Bluehorn TV.